This panel goes back to the beginning of time when Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled in the sky. Hi everyone, and welcome to my 1,000 subscriber special. Today we will be playing as the Dragon you? Priest, Konarik. We could be nothing other than a Nord, and be sure to make him look as decrepit as a drugger. A fan has come up with a great backstory, so make sure you check it out below. Witness Alduin's return. <laughs> then confirm Rayloff's worst fears. Just like the children's stories and the legends. For combat, use a combination of destruction spells, then finish them off with an axe. Don the heavy armor, then train to 41 handed with Raylock, and collect everything from the mage's cell in the torture room. Loot the usual valuables, then escape your captivity. Activate the Mage Stone, then Here. help out Sven. Give Camilla this letter. That long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. And make him your acolyte. I suppose Master Neloff won't mind. Uproot the vegetables. and search barrels for tomatoes then cook up some vegetable soup receive tribute from Gerda then go and slay the Illinolta bandits so you can take their treasure map loot the shrine of Talos I'm gonna find whoever did this. Grab the flawless emerald. Take the treasure. Then stock up on mead at Hunting Brew. And harvest more vegetables around Whiterun. Catch the cart to Riften, then collect the confiscated goods from the chests in the watchtowers. Clear out the shrine of Xenathar, then take both the amulet and blessing. Head into town, and sell everything you can do without. I changed into the iron armor since it fits the ancient Nord aesthetic. Release Sven from your service. I'll head back home if you need. Then get back to White Run. Head into the catacombs and cremate the skeletons so you can get an ancient Nord war axe. Buy Soul Trap from Farangar, then wander down to Palasia Farm and cast Soul Trap on the giant that was killed by the companions. Wait an hour to recharge your magicka, and as you level up, put your points into this as well. Power on to 100 Conjuration, so you can obtain the Twin Souls perk. Wagon up to Winterhold. 
and make a quick save. Perhaps, Submit your application to the college, to find the then reload the save if Feralda does not ask you to conjure the flame Atronach. Well, this way, we get the spell for a mere 30, 30 gold. Then buy Conjure Storm Atronach from Finnis, along with an Adept Hood. Return to Anissa's cabin and have your thralls send her to oblivion. Store your enchanted items in her cupboard. Then visit the Temple of Mara in Riften and complete the Book of Love quest. I love you. So I hear. Come here. We're together now. And you will be forever. Venture over to Fort Dawnguard and receive an assignment from Isran. for in this dim hollow crypt. Drive up to Dawnstar, then head south to the Lordstone for extra magic resistance. Delve into Jim Hollow Crypt, burn the vampires, then free Serana and learn the first word of Drain Vitality. Remember to loot the Hall of Vigilant once you're done. Then cruise to Castle Volkaha and make a pact with Lord Hart. Just as a minor note, I won't be using the Vampire Lord form in my place, but feel free to use it in your Fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. Then head off to Redwater Den. Start some trouble. And take the Telekinesis Spell Tome from the cage out the back. Burn some more vampires. Fill the Chalice from the Blood Spring. Then eliminate your rivals and add their blood to the water. Once you've returned to the chalice, you have increased his power over. You will be able to claim the dragon priest dagger from Harkon's room and gift it to your priestess. Listen to Harkon's ramblings. Then Stop seek word of a moth priest. In the and let the dragon if you hurry, you might catch him. Start buying destruction training. And liberate him from the dawn guard. Open his if eyes. My eyes have been opened. I'm blinded by the light of your majesty. And have him when read the, the Elder Scroll. To the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light. Creep to the castle of Serana. Collect the soul gems from Valerica's study and enter the soul cam. When you first enter, you will meet the soul of Arvax Moss. You can find the skull to the south of the Eastern Keeper. Then return it to the lost soul for the summon Arvax spell. I'll teach you how to call him to you. The other spell we want is the Conjure Wrathman Tome, found to the east of the Southern Keeper. The Wrathman is similarly powered to the Drumora Lord, with a decidedly more appropriate Nordic aesthetic. Additionally, you can also get the Conjure Bone Man Tome to the east of the Western Keeper, and the Conjure Mist Man Tome south of the Eastern Keeper if you prefer undead summons to other. You can also use the Lightning Tractors to convert Greater or Grand Soul Gems into Black Soul Gems, then fill them at the soul fissures. Kill the keepers as you go. 
Then visit Valerico. I would speak with you. Face your first dragon. Retrieve the second Elder Scroll. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be here. And you accept Dernavir's allegiance. Armor, and I will fight at your side as your Grazi Marzen. Then make a pact with the Ideal Masters. And return to Skyrim with even greater power. Keep training destruction. And, and ask Urag about the third Elder you Scroll. Know what you're asking about? In Speak the to Septimus. Black Ridge, one yet lies. Then fight your way through Octan. Collecting all the filled soul gems. And Dwemer metal you can find. Retrieve the Elder Scroll from Blackridge. As you then learn of Dexian's misfortune. It's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Travel to Ancestor Glade. And pick at least ten yellow mountain flowers. And then perform the ritual. And learn the secrets of the scroll. Revisit Riften and collect salt piles from the barrels. You, take the lexicon. You must take the lexicon. Free me, my And bring it to Avanchen Is this a dragon city? I can't believe they're gonna get so run down. Fight your way through. Collecting more filled soul gems and dwell in metal. Then return the lexicon for the ancient knowledge of it. Buy a weapon with the banish enchantment. Then change to the mage stone. And disenchant your enchanted item. Buy iron. And leather. Then craft them into iron daggers and use the filled soul gems you collected to enchant these daggers with banner. Uh, Set sail for soul's time. You've got yourself this. And sell the enchanted daggers to Glover. Use the gold to buy any enchantments you need for the build. Along with more filled petty and lesser soul gems and the resources you need to make more daggers. This should easily get you to 30 smithing for the Dwarven smithing board. Keep training to 75 destruction on level up, and continue enchanting daggers with Banish until you reach 100 enchanting. By turn lesser undead from Colette, then enchant some clothes, a hat, ring, and necklace with fortify alteration and restoration. Head outside and use telekinesis to levitate an object. Then fast travel to Whiterun whilst holding the cast button. And you will arrive with 100 alteration. Oh, Have Serana stay put. All right. Then enter Whiterun's catacomb. So much time among the dead and cast Turn Lesser Undead at the skeletons to level restoration. When you reach 40 restoration, by Repel Lesser Undead from Colette, then cast this at the Skeletons until you reach 70 Restoration, and can obtain the Necromage perk. Thought you never asked. Slaughter the Dunmer at the Earth Stone, and take the Dunmer Shoes from Rurns or Brawlsa. Wander up to the Waterstone and kill the cultist. So you can take their robes. Cut down Captain Valmir outside Forohost. 
take the key, then head inside and kill one of the ghosts to collect the ancient Nord gauntlets and boots. For enchanting potions, harvest snowberries around Windhelm and catch blue butterflies around Riften or Whiterun. For smithing potions, buy Blisterwort and Spriggan Sap from an alchemist. Then enchant your Falmer helmet and a circlet with Fortify Alchemy, a ring, necklace and gloves with both alchemy and smithing, then some clothes and the dumber shoes with Fortify Smithing. To level you smithing in the enemy. usual way, speak I'll to Cal Selma in Markov for access to the deep Collect the Dwemer metal inside, Then annihilate Nimi, so he will give you the key to the museum and let you take the Dwemer metal nearby. Steal the Dwemer metal from the Dwarven Museum and Calselmo's lab. Then collect more from Reachwind Irie. and the Dwarven storeroom outside Nizolf. Change to the Warrior Stone, then buy iron, and craft two-thirds of your metal into Dwarven gold. Then use your smithing gear to upgrade them and reach 100 smith. For alchemy, you first need the Ice Storm spell. You can cast this at Salmon in the water, then swim out to collect the Salmon Row. You can do this in the bays of Windhelm, Dawnstar, and Solitude. Nordic Barnacles can be collected from Lake Illinolta, Lake Yorgrim and all along the northern coastline. Garlic can be taken from Sven's house, House Greymane, and pretty much anywhere in Solitude. Then switch to the Thief Stone and use your alchemy gear to rapidly reach 100 alchemy. To do things the fast way, you don't even need to change standing stones. Brew a restoration potion from yellow mountain flour and salt pile, then drink it, and re-equip your crafting gear to boost the enchantments. Brew another restoration potion, drink it, and re-equip your gear for a further boost. Keep repeating this process, and in no time at all you will reach 100 alchemy. Then without removing your crafting gear, forge a single dwarven bow, and upgrade it to reach 100 smithing. Remove your crafting gear, and wait an hour to reset the enchantments. Brew a smithing potion from Blisterwort and Sprig and Sap, and an enchanting potion from Blue Butterfly and Snowberry. Enchant your axe with Absorb Health and Magicka, then upgrade it. Brew a restoration potion, then use this to brew an improved smithing potion and a batch of improved enchanting potion. Enchant your armor and jewelry, then upgrade them. Now we look like a dragon priest. 
So what did you guys think of the restoration loop? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. Go back to the Lord Stone. Then buy the Adept and Expert level destruction spells for all three elements. In Anniversary Edition, this build is well suited to the elemental spells as well. We also want Grand Healing, and Great Award from Colette, Ebony Flesh from Tolfdeer, along with Conjure Frost Atronach, and Dread Zombie from Finnis. Dread Zombie can be used to reanimate Draugr Death Lords, giving us access to another fitting servant of the Dragon Prince. Climb up the beat for Barrow and collect the Dragonstone. Ah, Lend it to Faringar. Stone of Barrow. You already found it. Then start a new Dragon War. Collect the Dragon Bones for later. And learn why Alduin feared you. Then this learn of the Greybeards and train with them for the second. You learn a new word like a master. And master third words of unrelenting force. Visit the town and receive word that Murak still lives. Kill the messengers. Then travel directly to Saring's Watch for the first word of Ben Will. And a convenient dragon soul. Cleanse the Allmaker Stones of Murak's influence. Then speak to Storm in the Skull Village. Find Freya at the Temple of Nira. Then purge it of the cultists. And learn the first word of Dragon Aspen. Discover Mirak's portal to Apocrypha. And seek an alliance against the dragon. Suffer Mirak's rejection. Then immediately return to Apocrypha and learn the second word of Dragon Aspen. Use oh, yes. Neloth's expertise to track down there. another Black Book. Then step inside oh. and meet old Hermamora himself. Learn the second the word second of Bend Will. Of power. Then sacrifice Storm for the third word. You will need to slay some dragons so you can unlock the full power of Bend Will. And hopefully Mirak won't steal too many souls from me. This dragon soul belongs to me. As punishment for Mirak's insolence, annihilate his acolyte as a doll. Dukan. And Zakri serves. Seize their masks. And learn the final word of Dragon Aspect from Raven Rockamai. 
Return to Apocrypha and demonstrate your new power. Hail, Zuli. Your Zulum has the mastery. Then soar to the summit and face Mirak as equal. And thus subject to my full power. Teach him why you're called the last dragon lord. Then claim his power. And his mask. Craft a dragon bone war axe. Brew another smithing and enchanting potion. Then enchant and upgrade the axe as before. You can then reset the perks for enchanting using the power in the black book waking brew. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon barriers. Return to Skyrim and employ Delphine to help you track down Alduin. The pattern is pretty clear. Catch up with him at Kynes Grove. Then interrogate the Thalmor. And recruit Esburn from the Ratway. Take me to Delphine. Been much to discuss. Consult Esburn for his knowledge of the Dragon Lord. Then the rediscover Alduin's Wall. Meet the master of the Greybeards. Rem Yolok, greetings, Undunik. Learn the first word of Firebreath from Parthenac. Understand fire as the dome do. Then read the Elder Scroll, Time Room. and learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Strike a mighty blow against the world leader. I watch as he makes his escape. Mortal. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Seek out the other dragon priests, claiming their masks in retribution. Also learn the first word of Stormcall from Forelhoss. And the second word from Highgate Ruin. To finish off the Firebird Shadow, you can learn the second word from Sunderstone Gorge. And the third word from Dustman's can. Access during the Talk Companion's the quest. Companions. You will also want to cross the shout. Learned at Bone Stream Crest. Fall Gunther. And Skyborn Altar. Continue the college quests for access to Labyrinthian. And Morathai's Mark. Then become the Archmage. And the Archmage's quarters as well. And don your robes of office. Challenge Odarving to face you. Then lure him into your clever trap. Strike Free a bargain. Me, and 
I will carry you to Skaldarfin. Then soar to Skaldarfin. Learn the final word of Stormcall. Then destroy now cream and secure the eighth mask. Open the portal to Sovendar. Stride through the mists. Then strike down the world meter. And shatter his soul. Bring the Dragon Priest mask to Labyrinthian and equip the wooden mask. Mount the masks on the busts. To reveal the golden mask of the wall. When your health drops below 15%, the mask has a chance to knock back the phone as well as granting you a flame cloak and casting grand heal. You can temper the mask with a gold ingot, then reset the smithing perks with the waking dream power. Let's talk aesthetics for a minute. If you don't like the Archmage robe, you could always keep the cultist robe. Maybe even adding the cultist boots and gloves. If you want to further emphasize the dragon element, you could opt for the dragon scale boots and gauntlets, or the bulkier looking dragon plate equivalent. To complete the set of dragon breath attacks, we can learn the second word of drain vitality from Arkwind Point, and find the third word in the Forgotten Veil. Then slay the last snow elf. Clear your depth archon. And disband the dawn guard. Vanquish Varlok the Jailer. Wage war on Gath. Like any good warlord, you'll probably want to display the heads of your enemies. Or at least make their unique items a trophy. Speaking of trophies, you can also do the Alteration Ritual spell quest to obtain cover signs. Have a blast at the orphanage. And track down the Dark Brotherhood so you can incinerate Astro. I told you where we'd find you. Thank you. Then exterminate the Emperor. Take command Long of the Legion. Emperor. Long live the Empire. And lead your new dragon cult to the conquest of Skyrim and all Tamriel. Well, that's it for this build. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to the 1,000 people who subscribed to my channel and helped my hobby become a community. Thank you all for your support, your comments, and your ideas. If you've got any more, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.